Okay. Well, time to go ahead and get this over with now. So, let me go ahead and post this that I'm live this time. Oops, I have that. There we go. Better. Alright. So, there we go. Final part to the Mayor National tutorial. This will be covering from entering Tailfin Pass all the way up until the very end of whichever run you're doing, whether it be required events or all events. Uh, from this point, we are just about to enter Tailfin Pass. For required events, you enter Tailfin Pass after you beat Stay in Race 2. And for all events, you enter Tailfin Pass after being all of the Ghosting Mater minigames. So, and just like before, I'm not going to cover any sort of things I talked about in the first or second parts unless they need to be brought up again. So let's just go ahead and start this up, shall we? So we're entering Tailfin Pass now. If This is all events, so we just left Ghosting Mater. Or if you require events, you just left Stay in Race 2. We're heading into Tailfin Pass. Alright. There's a cutscene you gotta skip. So then just skip it. And now, for required events, you go ahead and head straight to. Wheel well circuit here, but so you can skip this little or you can uh, forget about this little bit here But for all events we have a bit of work to do before we go to wheel well circuit Or maybe we wait did I go to wheel well circuit first in this run? Oh No, I went to the waypoint race first. Okay. I I should have gone to the last laughs first which are uh, let's Just go back here for a bit they are in this direction. They're over there. As you see here, the mini-map, those are the... That's the uh, last laughs. Right there. But for some reason, I decided to go to the waypoint races first. I guess... Actually, maybe it would be faster to actually do what I'm doing here, and then head to the last laughs after... Uh, the upper mine. Yeah, that might be faster. Or not after the upper mine, after Relay 2. Yeah, that might be faster. But, I don't know if I did that here or not. Either way, waypoint race number 3. Obviously, required events doesn't do that. So, but all events does. This one is the last waypoint race that you have to worry about. So, last time we get to see Monster Mater racing. The course is fairly linear, to be honest, so if any of the races feel like they shouldn't really have been waypoint races, this is probably one of them, because obviously Tailfin Pass itself is a fairly linear area, especially in this game, because there's not much to it. <laughs> but, oh well. What can you do? They wanted it to be, to be consistent, to be waypoints, so... Oh well. And then they changed it back to regular races in... Race Arama. <laughs> oh well. Either way, fairly simple, except this little hump right here after this waypoint here, right here, can be kind of awkward. It can send you into the wall over here, which is obviously not really good, and also this little tree right here does have a sort of hitbox sticking out, a tiny one, but it's still there, sticking out of the wall there, so you can hit that and stop, come to a halt, so be careful of that. I hit the wall a little bit there, but that's alright. Here they want you to go up the ramp, but instead I decided, or we, I found out that it's slightly faster to just stay on the road here. And there is a small portion here that you can go on, that you can keep going down the road and not have to go up the ramp. But be careful here, because there are walls there. Unfortunately, it looks like it jumped. Let's see if I can... Let's see if it's a part of that video. Yeah, it looks like it jumps there. But basically, I'll just go back again. Right here, right here, there's a little corner there, be careful of that. If you miss it, 
Or if you're not feeling comfortable enough to go for it. It's not the tightest thing in the world, but if you feel like you need to practice it, that's fine. You can go up this if you're starting a run of this game. That's fine. I really need to test it in depth. I was just kind of like basing it on logic so far that they, that the road is faster, but I'm fairly certain the road is supposed to be faster because you will be in the air for a tiny bit on this, and plus you're really slow in the air as a monster truck anyway, especially because you're going almost completely vertical on this ramp right here. So a lot of your horizontal speed is just kind of going up and not really doing much, so... I'm fairly certain it's slightly faster to just be on the road here. But anyways, let's just go ahead and continue on. So there's so much short waypoint race, because this next waypoint here I think is the last one. No, yeah, this one's the last one here. And then 39 seconds, we're on to lap 2 already. So yeah, fairly short waypoint race, especially if you can play the game pretty well and know how to control every character. Got kind of, kind of lucky there, I didn't hit the corner there. But yeah. And then just keep doing the same things over and over again. I don't know. Oh. Whoops. I kind of... <laughs> I don't know what they were doing there. I'm guessing Sully missed a waypoint and was going back to get it. And he ran into... Oh, I forgot what his name was. Shit. <laughs> I don't remember his name! <laughs> the other guy here. This ambulance guy. I should remember his name. But oh well. Yeah, he so he might have ran into that guy and fought, and forced it to stop, and that kind of threw me off because I was doing my line and then he was in my line and I couldn't do anything about it. That's probably a bit of RNG to be honest, because the AIs are the AI is just terrible in this in these races in these waypoint races. They're just awful. So, especially if they're on easy difficulty. If they're on easy difficulty, they will have to constantly go back for checkpoints over and over again. Which, for the first two waypoint races, is not as big of a deal, because you have a lot more open space to move around and get around them and avoid them. But in this one, there's barely anywhere to go. Because there's walls very close to you on both sides, and so it's like, okay, where do I go if someone's in the way? I'll more than likely run into them no matter how I try to avoid them. So... You just, if someone's in your way, you just kind of have to deal with them being in your way, hit them, and then try to get back to speed as quickly as possible. Which is fine. It happens sometimes, especially if you're going really fast, like I was here. It's still going to be a pretty good time, though, in my opinion. Because this race is still so much short, so... It's alright. And that was probably the best turn I had on that yet. And then I had to hit the wall like that. <laughs> oh yeah, and the waypoints also have a hitbox, so that's another thing you need to be wary of when you're going up to this waypoint here, because you can either hit that, or you can hit the side of the waypoint here, because that also has a hitbox on it. So yeah. That's very inconsistent with games sometimes. Like, sometimes checkpoints like that have, wait have hitboxes, sometimes they don't. Or, like, hitboxes where you run into them and stop if you hit them. Not like the... Oh, you went through it, hitbox. But, that's Waypoint Race 3. The last one. I want to see what his name was. Crippler. That's who he was. I was like, it has to do with, like, medical stuff or something like that. Or, like, getting hurt or something. But yeah, the Crippler, that's what his name was. So I ran into the Crippler on lap two. Oh well, not much I can do about it. But let's just go ahead and move on. You get a sticker for completing all the waypoint races. Yay! <laughs> just to show you, beat all of them. And then I guess we head straight to, yeah, we head straight to... We are well circuit. So now, if you're required events, you want to pay attention to this because this is for required events as well. So yeah, if you're if you're required events, you would go straight to this event right here. If you're all events, so you don't go, you don't quite go straight to it.
But anyways, wheel well circuit. Here I kind of just go along with this because it's slightly faster to just do that than to go all the way on the outside road. But be careful because there are a bunch of like corner walls and like a rock in a certain area that can hit you if you're not paying attention. So I'll show you right here. See that rock right there that just passed by? I'll try to pause on it so you can see it. Right there. It was right there. It was right on this side. There's a rock there, and it, it, it does have a hitbox on it. So you can hit it, and it will stop you, or you'll, it will stop you if you hit it. So you have to be careful about that. That's why I wasn't quite going right up against the wall. Because if I did, I would hit that, and that would cause a huge problem. So not wanting to do that. But anyways, and then there's also this tree right here. That You can also hit that. If you're going right up against the wall, so be careful of that too. Just kind of stay a little bit further outside. But anyways, now we're back on the road. And be careful because this is a somewhat tight turn. You need to tilt and power slide at the same time. You notice this little route right down here? Don't go on that. That is way slower and it has weird properties on it. And I'll talk about those when we get to there. So you have this little squiggly road, be careful not to fall off. There will reach a certain point where there will be an invisible wall here that is like the bridge wall that's, that'll, that'll keep you from falling down there anymore. But don't tr try not to have to trust it. Try to make sure you control yourself where you're going straight by the time you get to this. To like, So make sure you're going straight by about the time you reach this point right here. So that way you don't have to rely on that wall. To save you, because it's not as big as you think it is. It, it's somewhat longer than the actual bridge model itself, but it's obviously not going to stretch all the way throughout this here. There, it's going to only eventually be able to start helping you out. So yeah, just make sure that you can try to get yourself straightened by the time. But anyways, uh, right here. So if you were on the bottom route, there is this little hill right here that's going along like this basically it's like a snake kind of thing it's like going on this side kind of uh, it's going from this side of the bridge to this side of the bridge and then back over here but there's like grass patches along all that that slow you or along all that that slow you down a lot and it's not worth going on that bottom path at all it's way better to stay on the top path but anyways and now we have this little zigzag bit that can be kind of annoying for new players because it's like, okay, I keep hitting the walls there. What do I do? Heck, even I hit the walls sometimes. So, I would say just try your best to, like, go along the curves as much as possible, but also try not to turn a lot because that will probably make things better for you. It will keep you under control a bit better. And then here you are, power slide and tilt, although be careful because you're going on a hill and that can kind of, and your tilt can kind of mess up if you're going a little bit too fast with it. I was kind of lucky there, I didn't get a bad tilt, but sometimes if you tilt in one way and you land back immediately, it will kind of force you to tilt the other way for a bit, and you can't turn yourself at all, you're just kind of forced to stay going straight, and then you'll fall flat, and then you can turn again. It's very annoying, and it's hard to explain without seeing it, but it happens, if you're go especially if you're going uphill and tilting at the same time, and you end your tilt really quickly. But anyways, after that we head into this tunnel here, you got some turns, S-turns, you have this long turn that you don't necessarily have to power slide on. Save your boost for a bit, and then once we start getting close to this point, start using it, and then jump up here, and there's a shortcut right here. You don't, you want to try not to miss this shortcut, this is a very useful shortcut, it saves a lot of time. As much as, as much as you don't want to be in the air, you want to jump for this shortcut, because it is way faster than going the bottom path and going a, wall, a long straight and then turning a bit and then going outside finally. But once you go through that, you're going to be here, you'll fall down. I try to angle myself like that so that way I can be in a turning position already, so that way I can start the turn faster. But I don't know if it matters that much. Also, if you fall faster, then yay. <laughs> but that's wheel well circuit. 
Just do that three times and you're good to go. Skip ahead. Oh, uh, here I kind of ran to computer players, so I had to kind of try to avoid them. They kind of ran to the wall like that. Yeah, that didn't end as pretty as I wanted it to, but oh well. Not much I could do about that. But anyways, here I boost a bit, and then jump, so I can get that shortcut. Of course, I can also use tilting there like I just did. But anyways, that's real well circuit. We have two more regular road races to go. But anyways, I'll see where I go. Oh, what's this? Why am I going back? Where am I going? <sighs> okay. I don't know what the heck this is, but whatever. Oh. Oh, do I start? Did I do feel for the other side? I guess I did, so I could warp to it. Yeah, okay. I guess I did that then. Alright. I see. Yeah, I'm trying to think. It might be more. It might be better to start using warps a lot more, or like using the map to teleport to the events, because it might be use a lot more useful than driving there. But I don't know. I I would need to factor in when exactly I would do that stuff. I feel like maybe Rainier Springs. I could in between Fillmore's Nature Preserve and the Monster Mater Scavenger Hunt. I can go to Fuel Frenzy number one, do that, so I can set up the teleport. Because once you do an event that's in a, once you do an event in a place once, you can teleport there. So, but anyways, I'll have to experiment with that later. Of course, it's just, uh, it's just re wheel well circuit, but with fuel ticks and fuel meter. Yay! Because we haven't seen this before, and you won't see it again later, I don't think. No, I'm just kidding, we're gonna see it in Relay 3. <laughs> they really like to reuse the racetracks over and over again in this game, I don't know why. But, oh well. At least in Racerama, the relays were unique tracks. But, anyways, here I had way too much boot, or way too much fuel, obviously, so. I just had to wait this out. Anyways, uh, do I do the second one? Or do I just leave after that? Okay, oh, that's right, I haven't even done the upper mind yet. Pfft. Never mind, I am not thinking straight. <laughs> Oof. I was like, I probably hit that guy, and yeah, I did. Yikes. Now do I do the last laps, though? I guess I do, then. Maybe if I do it like this, instead of, for all events, instead of teleporting to the upper mine, I can teleport to this, then. Because that'll put me even closer to Canyon Run. Oh, and, and then it crashed, so... <laughs> yeah. So that's what I was talking about, where, especially if you if you have the Super Drive mod, it can easily crash the game. And so, that's why I'm saying save a lot, or save every other time at least, especially for all of it, because of that, it can easily happen there. So yeah. Thankfully, I saved everything, so everything I've done up till now is still good. And I still got a world record here, so... <laughs> Now I just need to not have it crash on me, and I'll get instant world record! <laughs> Yay! But anyways, let's skip ahead, so that way we can do this. So yeah, we'll well tour, just two more last laps to go as well, I should add. 
this one, and then one more. So yeah, here the doors tend to be the most useful, especially because of how it's a linear area as opposed to an open area like the previous four basically were. So... But yeah, as you see, I entered through the green door there, and I popped out through the other green door. Here, I didn't decide to use a door, because it would be faster to just go forward, then to go backward, turn around, go through this door, go through this door, end up through this door, and then have to turn around again to go this way to get that can that was there. But anyways, it doesn't matter how you collect the cans, to be honest. Nothing can be considered optimal in this besides having good RNG, I guess, but you have a time limit and you have to just win in that minigame in that time. And it's otherwise just an auto scroller, so not much to it. <laughs> Let's skip ahead. Let it let when it loads. There we go. Come on, you can do it. Alright, there we go. Of course, that's having a little bit of fun there at the end, because we couldn't catch up. And now the last one, Tailfin Labyrinth. Here, there are th three pairs of doors, as you see. Red, green, and purple. And here is the only time that Sully will actually start using these doors. So, yeah. Here I decided to pop through the red door. So that way I can have closer. I don't know why I thought it was actually uh, this way, because it's clearly not, but I was not thinking straight, so I kind of ended up lopsided. Thankfully, the game resets you if you get lopsided, but, of course, I had wasted too much time because of that, so I let Sully pretty much get one for free, so I was like, okay, let's just try going through the purple door now, see if I can go there faster. I don't think I beat Sully, though. I think he still got it before me. Yeah, he barely got it before me. Oh well. Here, it's below there, so we just go through the red door. Get it pretty quickly. And now it's up there, so... I head through the purple door. And then I also go through the green door, because obviously Sully's going through the green door, and he's really close to it, so I have to... So, I have to kind of slow down here so I can set my angle properly to go in the green door, like that, and then try to go as fast as possible, catch the can. Of course, I knew he was going to turn there because of how the path works, so. And here, I decided to... Do I decide to go through the red door? I don't. I just keep going. Okay. And so he falls down here accidentally because he's on a thin pathway, so... I pretty much get it for free now, because originally he was going to go through the green door to get it, because it's close to the green door, but he falls down, so he can't. He has to go through the red door in order to get close enough. So he, do he does that now, but of course, by then it's too late, and I have it. Now it's close to the green door, so I just, I'm right next to the green door, so go through the green door. And there you go. And I decided to go back through the green door, because it's, again, close to the green door. So, yeah, just just try your best to, like, use the map to help determine how to make your pathway. Oh, boy. This is... Uh, please don't do this now. Come on, YouTube. Thank you. <laughs> That was weird. I don't know what the heck it was doing there. But anyways, there we go. That's all six. No sticker for these ones, but oh well. Anyway.
now we do now we're back to required events with the upper or for required events and all events with the upper mine so for for required events once you finish wheel well circuit you come here and you do the upper mine This race is somewhat long. It's the second longest track in the game, I should say. So, basically, we decided this track was the only exception to where only boss races and the fuel frenzies can be down one lap. This race can also be down one lap in the files. So, it's three laps normally, but it's two laps here, as you see, even though it's not a boss race. So, yeah, feel, feel glad. But this track is really freaking long, admittedly. It, it's not quite the longest, like I said, but it's the second longest. This track is easily a close second to Canyon Run, which is the next regular road race, the final regular road race in the game. There's these little humps here that are back and forth, and you have these humps that are just regular hills. Here, this, this upper path here is a shortcut. Unfortunately, I kind of messed up my turning here and I got thrown off, but that's okay. You can jump back up here using a somewhat tricky jump up onto the wall to throw you up back up there like this. So it's, it's okay if you fall down. You can jump back up. Then jump across that gap there. Then avoid the barrels and cones there. And then head through this because it's technically the fastest path as a straight line for the most part. And here you'll want to kind of stay close to the fence because there's a shortcut right here to the left. As you see, that sign even tells you, like, the sign here shows you, hey, there's a shortcut over here, but you can keep going on the main path if you want to. Yeah, take the shortcut, obviously. I got kind of a bad tilt there. There's, there's the first instance of a bad tilt as far as this tutorial is concerned. That basically is just me going up a hill, doing it tilt too fast, so I end up going tilting the opposite direction. It doesn't make you turn in that direction, but it, do, it makes it where you can't turn at all. So, it's very annoying. Try your best to not get it. Anyways, here. You can actually, if you're very precarious about your movement, you can accidentally fall off the track here. But, obviously you don't want to do that. You should be aiming straight here. And no matter what, you should land back on the track here. So yeah. Oh, and also these minecart, this minecart section here. Unfortunately, the quality is ass. So let's try turning it back up to 480. See what happens. Actually, let's try uh, 720. No, not 480. Ah, 720. Okay, so. Here, there are two minecart sections on this track. One is right here, the other one was near the beginning. They look kind of the same, like they have this little, uh, they have this little appearance to them, and you see these little minecarts going through them. You can see the tracks on the floor, on the ground here, so you can see their paths, but they're on a sort of cycle. It's not a global cycle, I realize, it's more like a, uh, it's more like a regular cycle that appears whenever you get close enough. I'm not sure how close, what close enough is though. So, they just, as far as I know, they're pretty much RNG for the most part. But for the most part, you can react to them. So, especially if you pay attention to their tracks and just try to avoid them and only go across them when you know there's not a track, or when you know there's not a cart on them. So, but yeah. I'll show you the other minecart section here very quickly. Here's the other minecart section. There's a minecart there. I hit it, unfortunately. I kind of was like, okay, it's going to be on the right side, but no, it was on the left. So, and then I managed to avoid the second one. Sometimes in the regular game, there was like a, there's like a glitch where, or it sometimes happens in the mod too, but there's a glitch where 
when a my card spawns, it'll hit you, but it's it was just spawning, so I guess it may like has a hitbox everywhere or like all across the little track or something. I don't know. I don't know how to really say it. I don't encounter it at all in this run, I don't think, so I can't really even show it to you, but it it, it was a thing, believe me. But anyways, just go ahead and fast forward here a bit. You can see the lap time here is a 140. But anyways, so that was the upper mine. Now if you're required events, you'd head straight to Relay 3. Although I think here, I go, for all events, I go to Race and Chase number 7. Yeah, I went to Race and Chase number 7. Because re Relay 3 is right here. It's right down there. But I don't go there. I go over here. All the way over here is the Race and Chases. I don't know why they're all the way over here, but they are. I don't know if I do the all, both of the first two or if I do just the first. So that way I can get the warp or the teleport point. But either way, that's just setting up a teleport point so that way I can go there quickly and then make sure I can also leave quickly enough. But anyways, here I get Lenny as fast as I can. I try to back up, but unfortunately I was too slow, so he gets me again, so I just reset. Yeah, I couldn't back out for whatever reason, I guess, so I have to reset there. This time, though, it should be better. Second try is great, to be honest. That's really good if you get a second try. Obviously, first try is better, but that's more likely not going to happen on your first attempt of a run. Because you're going to mess up something somewhere. So. But anyways, here we just go the regular route of the wheel well circuit. Up until we reach our base. Which is over there, as you can see. And yeah, there we go. Let's see, do I do the second one as well? Or do I do the eighth one as well? Or No, I go to... I warp to the upper mine. Cool. Okay, so we, went, we teleport back to the upper mine. So that way we can go to relay number three faster. Because we don't want to go down that grassy patch on that hill over here. That's not faster at all. Remember? But anyways, Relay 3. It's Wheel Well Circuit, but with two more cars on our team. <laughs> so, yeah, just go through it normally. My two te teammates here are Mater and Fillmore. They're alright. Just race, in my opinion. They're not the best, but they're not the worst either. Oh, no, I picked Sarge. Eh. Mmm. I don't know. I wouldn't pick characters like Sarge that have really bad handling, though. I'd be careful about that. It may be because Sarge has more speed, but I don't know. Because Sarge has really bad handling here. As you see, I fall down here. So yeah, obviously it was not a good idea to pick Sarge at all for this. I should have picked someone else who had better handling. Always better handling over better speed. <laughs> for the most part, anyway. So that was somewhat slower, but oh well. Still got a world record. Still made mistakes, like Madagascar 2 world record, but oh well. I can fix them eventually if I keep practicing. Oh, I also have stuff to do in my life, so that's hard. Oh well, though. But anyways, uh, here we just teleport back to the upper mine, because we don't want to go up that ramp. And then have to come all the way back, obviously. That's slow, so we just warp to the upper mine. Required events does that as well. It does, re does Relay 3, then warps to t the upper mine. Of course, I should have warped over to uh, Last Laughs, since this is all events, but oh well. I don't remember whether or not I realized that in my run, but... Oh well. But anyways, here we have Canyon Run, the final... Regular road race, the longest race in the game, and the last bo the last race considered to be a boss race besides save three, sort of. <laughs> but anyways, 
So yeah, there's a lot of stuff to look at on this track. There are a lot of shortcuts. So right off the bat, we're going through a little tunnel here that kind of closes or it goes thinner and thinner as you see. But anyways, here. Here starts like three different paths. There's a bottom path, a middle path, and a top path. The fastest is, without a doubt, the top path. And the slowest, without a doubt, is the bottom path. So, try your best to stay on the higher paths, and don't go to the lower paths if possible. Stay on the top path if possible. If you can't stay on the top path, then try to stay on the middle path. If you're doing this unmodded, you'll, you'd have to do this twice. If you're doing modded, you only have to do it once, although you can decide to keep both laps on there if you want to. I don't see why you would, but it certainly is an option. <laughs> but anyway, here you gotta jump over these arrows to keep the shortcut going. Because I think it is still slightly faster to do that. But who knows, it might not be. Either way, here I do a little jump so that way it's not, it's, we don't have to like hit the floor and then go in the air twice. Slightly faster, in my opinion. Here, there's a shortcut to the right here, so obviously, you, you can obviously see that there's a path here, with this little gate here. Take that, try to get an early jump there, but it doesn't matter. And then here, you'll just fall back out to the radio track. And now we're going across these grass patches here. These can be pretty annoying to deal with, because there's one in the middle here, obviously, that's a very annoying spot. Here's one on the left, and then they put another one on the right. If you can get like a perfect arc like that when you're power sliding through, that is probably what I would think is the best. But I've rarely gotten that, and so you, it needs a lot of practice. So it's alright if you go in the grass patches a couple times. It's not the end of the world. It always slows you down. It doesn't grind you to a halt per se, but it does slow you down exponentially. But anyways, some turns that can be kind of crazy if you're playing through this first time. And then here. Very momentum-based turn. Obviously, you want to avoid that grass that's on the right. Grass on the left. Grass on both the right and left here. They end at about the same time. And now, the most annoying section in the game. The rock falling section. Ladies and gentlemen, these rocks are very hard to avoid. Here, I should have jumped. So I could probably avoid it, but I did, so I got hit by that one. Their hitboxes are very weird. They, the hitboxes come sooner than the rocks actually fall, and they stick around. And overall, the hitboxes are just really awkward. You have to pretty much play the game yourself in order to really see, sort of, under and sort of understand what exactly the, the hitboxes are like on these rocks. You can kind of jump over them, but... To be honest, they can still fall on you if the rocks themselves are falling down. Because the rocks themselves also still have hitboxes. Like that. You know? So, I, I don't know what they were thinking with this. But, it's alright. Whenever you get past that section, right here, you want to go down the left path here. Because it's a shortcut, obviously. So, yeah. Try to get an early jump, but it's really awkward to time, so if you can't quite time it right, then just hold up and then hold down whenever you need to fly on yourself. But be careful, because if you take the right path right here, you'll have this like tight 90 degree left hand turn, or not really left hand turn, but left turn, this 90 degree left turn. Right here, that's very awkward to get. And so, you definitely don't want that. You want to take the left path. Even if you fall in the gap between the two ramps there, it'll still be faster, and it'll still be better, because you'll still not have to deal with that turn. It's alright. Believe me. Take the left path. But anyways, besides that, it's just pretty much straightforward until you reach the finish line. And of course, it's only one lap, so... And that's all the regular road races. Requirements at this point would leave Tailfin Pass and go 
back to the stadium race area and do stadium three and relay four and then relay four would be it for them and we'll go over that in a bit but for now but for all of it we have a lot more work to do we still have the relay r or not the relay race we have fuel frenzies and we have race to chases left and i think that's it inside of tailfin pass and yeah we go ahead and warp to the fuel frenzies Do I enter it? I think I can enter it. Yeah, I entered it. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. So yeah, Fuel Frenzy 8, just save stuff. Just use fuel. Did it do this stupid thing again? Gosh dang it. I can go ahead and lower the quality again. It's fine. Alright, so let's see here. Yeah, I use up the boost like that. And I don't stop for whatever reason. Oh well. Or I keep thinking it's going to stop at that point, but it doesn't, so I'm like, oh, hello. But anyways, that was Fuel Frenzy 8. Just go through, use the fuel casters. Fuel Frenzy 9. Looks like we're getting a call. Okay, I'm gonna assume you didn't hear that. <sighs> oh well. It's fine. Anyway, let's just continue on. But yeah, can you run just... The, or Fuel Frenzy 9, just can you run with fuel tanks. Yay. I don't know why, but I did something weird here. Yeah. That was that took longer. Why did I do that? <laughs> ah, I still got a world record with this. Man, okay then. Obviously, something was very wrong with my previous world records up till now, but who knows? Oh well. Either way, that was all the fuel frenzies. We get our last sticker for now, but we're still not done quite. Well, actually, don't we get, we don't get our last sticker. Never mind. I'm an idiot. Not quite the last sticker. Second to last. But we have race chases, which don't give us a sticker, but oh well. Man, I have itching. I don't know why I didn't enter race chase 8 there, if I could enter fuel frenzy 8. But oh well, I'm not going to question it. We have Vince again. Yay. Remember him from the second one? Yeah, he's back for revenge, cry out loud. That was a good, quick turn. But anyways, here our goal is in the opposite direction. We're going towards, or we're going the opposite direction of the track. So. There we go. That was number eight. First try. And then finally, number nine. I don't remember if I did this one first try. Doesn't matter a whole lot. I think I did it first try, but we'll see. Okay. Yeah, I think I did this one first try as well. So that's good. Unless he saw, like, snuck up on me and, like, tagged me. Which can happen, but it... Only if you're purposely not using, like, boost or something. That's the only time it really happened. And I have done that before. Where I did, like, no abilities runs. Where I used no boost, no power slide, and no tilt. But it's, it's not really as much fun as I thought it was going to be, so... I just kind of removed those. It's an interesting challenge, though, and maybe I'll eventually go back to it someday. Who knows? Okay, yay. First try. Let's go. And that's all the race chases. That's all for Tailfin Pats, ladies and gentlemen. 
That is all for Tailfit Pass. And so now we have to go back into Raider Springs. And before, for all of it, before we go back to sta to Stadium Race 3, we have unlocked the last three levels of tractor tipping. So we have to go to Mater's Place first. And so we go to tractor tipping number four. I don't know if we enter it. I think we enter it specifically. Yeah, okay. Tractor tipping four. Here we go to the right first, like this. Requirements still doesn't quite pay attention. We tip this tractor first, then that guy. We make sure we avoid Frank like so. A lot of this one is built around making sure you avoid Frank. Get as close to that guy, tip him. Avoid these searchlights. Good avoiding there. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it was a close one, but we got through it somehow. Avoid this searchlight. Or spotlight. Go over here. Tip this guy. Frank is going to come back around by this point. But I think we can beat him here. And then. Oops. Not quite. If I had just gone a little bit farther. I would have beaten him there. But oh well. It's fine. We can go along this wall now. Do that. You have two spotlights to avoid here. Go, 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 go! Ugh. Tip that guy. Go back outside, avoid the searchlights. And then tip the last guy. Eleven tractors in total. Somewhat long tractor to big, to big level, but oh well. And then the next one is like another auto-scroller. Yep. Just skip ahead. So we start up. Here we go. We're off the bat. Spotlights to avoid. Tractor with a spotlight to avoid. Bushes that you gotta avoid because they're they have hit boxes, so you'll run into them if you try to drive through them. Tractor right there. Tractor inside here. They have to go around the bush to tip like so. Gravel here in long sections, although to be honest, I find it faster to just drive through the path as fast as possible. Go along the wall here at that point to avoid as much gravel as you can. Here you have the bush here. And then long section of gravel again. Just go along this wall here and eventually you'll stop driving on gravel. Go in here, tip this tractor. Go along that wall to prevent drive yourself on gravel. Go along this wall to tip this guy. Then come along here like that to avoid the spotlights. Then you have a guy in here, this bush. Like so. Avoid that gravel there. Small bushes here that are easy enough to avoid. The last two tractors are pretty interesting how you get them. Well, the last one is, to be honest. So, here you go here, drive here, tip the guy. Then you want to wait on this little rock-looking texture here on the ground. When you wait there, what will happen is Frank will eventually come, and he'll break down all these bushes here, and then you can drive on a ramp here on this end to tip the tractor. Right there. I decided to drive backwards just to make sure that I'm safe. Because this spotlight does kind of touch you a tiny bit if you're on this. But it doesn't have as big of a hitbox as you think. So yeah, here he comes. He's going to tip the guy. As you see there, it touches us. The spotlight, but oh well. Drive behind him to make sure you don't, and make sure you don't touch him or get in his spotlights. And then, boom. That's that level. Now for the last one. This one is the hardest one, and maybe one of the longer, longer ones as well. So, but first you go over here, tip this guy. And then you go over here. 
This sprint is awkward. I don't know why they decided like this. But basically, you gotta hit the side and turn backwards as soon as you can, get on it while it's still going up, and then you can go over. I don't know why they designed it like that, but they did. But anyways, now you go across here, and unfortunately, you want to go across here where you still hit the sign, but for some reason, there are bushes right here that have the the hit boxes, and you can't go through them. It's super annoying. So you have to wait for Frank to cut those bushes down, like this. And it's just overall pretty freaking annoying, but oh well. Tip this guy, wait, or slowly go after Frank, don't quite, like, chase him down to a T. Slowly follow him. Tip this guy, oh, wait for the spotlight, tip that guy. Go over here, all the way over here, tip this guy. As much as you want to jump down there so you can do more stuff, you can't. You have to wait. You have to go over here. He's, Frank is going to come back around if you're too slow. So I was thinking, okay, I can go across. But then I just got myself caught. So I was like, shit, retry. I don't know how this was a world record. This is really bad. But, oh well. He kind of stopped there because... He kind of stopped here because... I was right after him. Let's see, where did he stop at? Yeah, he stopped right there because I was building up his mirror a lot. And so, if you build up his mirror a lot, he just stops and is like, what? I get the feeling somewhere someone's here. And unfortunately, it's still not quite fast enough, so you have to wait here if you're slow. You may be able to be quick enough to beat him down here, but I don't know. It's really hard, at least. So don't try to do it if you're starting to run this game. Just don't. <laughs> it's not worth your time. Unless you decide to dedicate to this. Probably a package. Anyway. Uh, let Frank get by you here, and then go across both the bridges. You have to lower this one, though, so... Here, there are bushes that should be blocking you up fairly sturdy, but they don't, as you see. Like, you can just go through them like that. There are gaps. There's a gap right there, so, yeah. Just go through them, tip that tractor. Then we're coming over here to the last area to tip the last couple tractors. Tip this one, and then as you can see, there's a whole frenzy of spotlights here. It's hard to avoid them without getting spotted by all of them, but... Just try your best to avoid it all. I it was getting pretty close there, as you see, but I managed to avoid it for the most part. So good job, me. <laughs> Once you tip all of them, it doesn't matter if you're inside of them or not, because you tipped all of them. So you won. And that was the last tractor tipping level. So there you go. That was it for tractor tipping. That's the last mini game to give us a sticker. So yay. We skip the cutscenes. Now for the last two events. Required events, pay attention again. Because up until really up until right after relay four, the rest of this is for you. Because except for stage four, all the rest of this is for both the required events and all events. So, first though, stadium race three. The last quote unquote boss race of the game against Giovanni, who we raced against before in Relay 1, in case you didn't remember. But if we win this, we unlock Relay 4, which we automatically go to next after we win this. And again, see so race searches throughout optimizing your paths. So yeah. I like racing this track a lot, because I like my the way I can do movement on it. It feels pretty good, for the most part. Of course, I need to start getting better at the other stadium races as well. 
I also, I even need to get better at this one, to be honest, but, oh well. But anyway, just the same thing over and over again. But anyways, cutscene, you gotta skip, and then we go into Relay 4. The final relay race of the game. So anyway, yeah, this one is actually not Stadium Race 3. This is what's supposed to be Stadium Race 4. So yeah. I don't know what happened here, but I guess they were just like, ah, fuck it. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, yeah, this is supposed to be Stadium 4, so I'll let the whole thing play out. I'll let all of Stadium 4 play out as well. Because this is, this, once you cross the finish line as your last character on this race for required events, that, that is time. So, I'll... Tell you when time is supposed to be on this race for required events. So yeah, pretty much that's it for the most part for the tutorial. Same four is just you is just lightning doing this track again. So yeah. And the default game, the three characters you play as in Relay Four are the same three characters you play as in Relay One. So you have Lightning, Doc, and Mater. In the same order too. It goes Lightning, Doc, Mater in both of them. So So yeah, that that would be time for required events is right when you cross the fish line. Time, right there for required events. All events though, you still have one more race to go. Same for relay four should be your last race for required events. It has to be your last race because you automatically go to it after save three. But for all events, uh, save four should be your last one. We have a cutscene skip for all events. Credits skip. Enter. You're still in the game, don't worry, you don't have to like main or do menu stuff again. Just enter stadium four if you're if you're all events. And all events time is when you cross the finish line. It's when you finish this race, so and again, I'll let it play out just so you can get the full picture. But yeah, that's pretty much it for Mayor National. Not really the biggest speed game ever, but it's certainly a game that I've had a lot of fun of since I've played it. I've had a lot of fun with since I've played it since childhood. So I can I can play the game as a speed game if I want to. And I do want to. <laughs> I'll keep running this game at marathons, so...
or four marathons, I guess, since I tend to get in, but I haven't always gotten in with Mirror National. I'll run games at marathons. I'll keep running them if I want to. But yeah, one last lap, and then I'll say time, and then that would be it for your run. I will admit, I wish I had a really long run that I could submit to really, really long-a-thon. That way, I could actually be in a marathon like that, but oh well. I don't have a run that's like four hours or longer that I think I would be willing to do. So, oh well. And I locked up there a tiny bit, so that's why I went, ran into the wall there. But oh well. Oh, that's right, this was not barely sub-3. This was a 257. I forgot about that. <laughs> I don't know how I forgot about that, because I could see the time on speedrun.com, but oh well. Anyways, time would be now. So, there you go. That's that's it for Mayor National. For Mayor National Speedruns. For the, tutor for the tutorial. Thank you for watching the VOD, or if you watch the stream. I doesn't matter. If Thank you for watching it all. I'll see you guys tomorrow a little bit for some NASCAR Heat 2 review. I want to practice a little bit before Winter Rush. So, yeah. Till then, see you.